Hello, and welcome back to A Brick Too Short. For Episode 5, I will be reviewing a LEGO set based on Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. That was terrible. And this right here is the 7130 Snowspeeder. It came out in 1999, so still the first wave of Star Wars LEGO sets, and the price was only $20. And this might be my all-time favorite Star Wars LEGO set. Matter of fact, I had actually never seen The Empire Strikes Back yet. But for some reason, I really wanted this set. And it was actually the second Star Wars LEGO set I ever got. And so with that, let's take a look at it. So we'll start with the Hoth Trooper, who of course was a Rebel Trooper dressed for icy, snowy conditions on Hoth. And his hat is a basically like a pilot's helmet with a brown visor that comes down. Of course, the newer Hawk Troopers and Legos have um, much more accurate looking caps with goggles. His face, it's 1999, so all three figures in the set are going to have the, the yellow face. But he has some sort of design hanging down by his one eye. I think it's supposed to be hair, and I've never seen this design before or really since, except maybe I think there might be one other later... Snow Speeder set that has the same face. Now, of course, his, his torso, very much so. Hot Trooper design, and that basic design is still used today. Let's see the goggles, if you want to call them. Um, his rifle is um, a camera, of course, gray pants. And turn it around. No printing on the back, but that's absolutely fine because he actually has a backpack on. And come back around while his hat is not the most accurate. This was a, a cool figure for the time. Now here's the Hot Troopers Hot Dish turret. And it does actually swivel. You can do a full 360. It also goes up and down. Now this is actually a very basic built design. So if you look at it, there's no controls, um, no sights as... I think they had, or at least he could look through in the back. So it's just a very basic build. Um, but it, it was still kind of cool, but but very basic. Here we have our hero, Luke Skywalker, with his blue lightsaber. The helmet, same as in the X-Wing fighter, has his Red 5 logo on it. Now the face on this one, I don't know if you can tell, but the chin is quite a bit worn out. And, of course, his pilot jumpsuit. Now, compared to today's X-Wing fighters, you know, this, this is the most detailed printed torso. But for 1999, this was really cool still. And here we have uh, Luke's harpoon gunner. I believe his name was Dak. And his helmet, like Luke's, except for instead of having the red 5 insignia, it has blue insignia on it. His face... Yeah, it, it actually is just the regular Lego smiley face, which are in a few Star Wars sets. And then, of course, his suit is the same as Luke Skywalker's or Biggs from the X-Wing fighter. And here we have the actual snow speeder itself. Now, I will go ahead and point out some incorrect pieces I have on it. And it's this little box-like thing right here that pulls out. And it's actually for... Luke Skywalker's um, lightsaber blood, uh, hilt. And these side pieces are three bricks tall. The actual one should only be two bricks tall. I think I lost one of them, and so I decided to just use these because it, it still fits um, just fine. In fact, I'll go ahead and put the hilt in it. Now, a problem my buddies and I used to have with our stove speeders was, you know, you're flying along... You turn it upside down and it's actually not working. But this would fall out and of course the lightsaber hilt would fall out. So we would actually take a flat 1x4 and st stick on there and it actually looks pretty decent. And you never knew the difference. Now the cockpit assembly is actually two sections. Of course in the movie this whole part raises and lowers. Not in this. Um, the front cockpit opens by itself. And so you can, of course, 
fit Luke into it. Maybe. There we go. Of course, shut it. Now, the back part also opens separately. So you can put DAC in there and close that. Now, the harpoon gun is this little piece. It does spin, but it doesn't come with uh, harpoon or tow cable. One of the best built parts of this snow speeder, actually even compared to some of the newer ones, are the brake flaps and its assembly. Um, it is actually very well built, so you can just open and close and not have to worry about this piece falling off, whereas a lot of the newer ones, you actually do. And of course, there are several printed pieces, um, both of these, which kind of go along with engine parts, this front part, and also some little pieces right here. Now you also have your, your your laser cannons. And if you've watched the X-Wing review, you might remember how I discussed that snow speeders just don't have a good place to keep the lightsaber blade. Um, there's a place for the hilt, not for the blade. So what I do is just open it up, stick it in the cockpit, and shut the cockpit. And that's the only thing I know to do. Now, um, one extra, maybe sort of play feature, don't know if it's supposed to be, is the wings do this. But I don't think it's really supposed to. That's just how it was designed. Now, there are also, um, just like the X-Wing, printed pieces inside the cockpit. There are these slope pieces, both the front where the pilot sits and the back where the harpoon gunner sits have the exact same piece and they are I guess computer images of the ad ad. Now overall the snow spear does have some inaccuracies. This front area um, should have some better angling. It's kind of flat. Of course the cockpit as mentioned is two sections when in the movie it was just one but overall I still actually love the shape of it um, I love the colors of it. It just, I feel as if it, it does hit the look of the snow speeder. And it is classic Star Wars Lego. Um, the figures that came with it, of course, Luke is absolutely fine. The Hot Trooper is really cool. Dak has a smiley face. I wish it was something else. But hey, you can always switch it out if you want something else. The turret was simple, but was still cool. So overall, this is probably one, if not my favorite Lego Star Wars set. And with that, tune in next time.